Torsional stress is caused when we try to open up DNA and end up making knots in the DNA, which causes it to coil more and leads to supercoiling. Supercoiling is when DNA coils back onto itself. There are two types of supercoiling, positive and negative. Positive supercoiling is when DNA is over-rotated in the same direction as the coil, so a left-handed supercoil compensates. Negative supercoiling is when DNA is underwound, so a right-handed supercoil compensates. Negatively supercoiled or underwound DNA makes it easier for processes such as replication to be carried out because it is easier to unwind the DNA. DNA that has positive supercoiling is more condensed, making it more difficult to separate and carry out replication. Here is a video demonstrating what positive and negative supercoiling looks like using a house phone. Positive supercoiling results when we overwind and rotate the phone to the right in the same direction of the helix. However, as we rotate the phone to the left, the supercoil goes in the opposite direction of the helix, representing a negative supercoil. If we are trying to open up the DNA to carry out processes such as transcription, but then DNA begins to supercoil back onto itself, why would this be a bad thing and how do we fix this? To remove supercoils, there is an enzyme called topoisomerase. Topoisomerase is attached to the DNA and cuts either one or both of the strands. The strands then turn around each other to remove the supercoils. Once DNA relaxes again, the topoisomerases reseal the broken ends of the strands. There are two different types of topoisomerases, topoisomerase 1 and 2. Topoisomerase 1 cuts a single strand of the DNA, while topoisomerase 2 induces a double strand cut in the DNA and requires ATP to be carried out. If topoisomerases were dysfunctional, strand separation would eventually not take place and would prevent important processes such as replication and transcription. Next, we have an example showing how both topoisomerase 1 and 2 are carried out. In topoisomerase 1, the enzyme will attach to the DNA and cut a single strand of the double helix and allow for the other strand to pass through the cut, and then topoisomerase will reseal the break, relaxing the overwound DNA. In topoisomerase 2, a double strand of DNA is cut with the help of ATP, which is represented by the orange clay in this video. When one double strand is cut, the other double strand of DNA is passed through the cut. This leads to DNA returning to its relaxed state. If DNA has free rotation, the ends of the DNA will turn as extra rotations are added or removed, and the DNA molecule will naturally return to its relaxed state. DNA is typically stabilized by proteins that prevent free rotation, and this leads to supercoiling within the loops. Looking at the photo below, the purple clay represents the proteins preventing free rotation in the DNA, and you can see that a supercoil has formed in one of the loops.